Hey guys. Hey guys. Help me. Now this asset kids George and Jaden is giving us a tour of the property. So let's go inside. Why you hit me? Let's go inside. Are you an asset or are you a liability? That is the that is the question for today. Let us go have a seat, guys. Have a seat. And we are live in Facebook, so all the kids in the world can hear you now. Now, we are here in one of the properties we recently purchased. And George and Jaden here, I'm teaching them how to be asset kids. Right now, they are being a liability. I'm not gonna live. I'm not gonna live. I'm not gonna live. Okay, so now show me, show me how you can be an asset. So tell me what you've learned over the years, what you've learned about uh, having a rental. When can you rent it? What's the difference between short term and long term? So short term, George. Me. So okay. Short term is in twelve months. So this is uh, Jaden then, because Jaden uh, raises hand. That's a good kid. <laughs> That's a liar. That's an asset case, right? Because we waited for him to be heard. Okay, Jaden, take it away. So short term is when you have like a rental, like this one. Well, is it a rental? Is it? Uh, anyways, so it's like when there's a tenant and they stay for less than twelve months, but a long term is twelve months and longer. That's correct. Short term is less than 12 months. Long term is 12 months. We usually do a 12 month lease. It's mm -hmm. easier for everyone. Easier for everyone. Now, George, since you're very oh, eager yeah. and you just <laughs> sit down on your brother's lap, can you tell me when does an asset, oh. when does a property become an asset and um, when does a property become a liability? Money, and it becomes a liability when it's vacant and no money coming and you have to pay all the bills for it still. <laughs> Oh, that is correct. Yes, Jaden. Or if you buy it. Yes, if you buy it and you don't, you only live in it. Well, so to make it clear, an asset can become a liability, and a liability can become an asset. This house right now, we're trying to roll it to get it rented. We just purchased this a few days ago, and so now this is a liability. Why? Because we are paying. For the expenses of the property, expenses would be property tax, property insurance, water, sewer, electric bill, gas bills. So that's where the asset becomes a liability. The asset is truly an asset and not a liability when you have tenants paying for these bills. So now let us give you a tour. So we are in our living room and we would like, so George and Jaden will show us, will give us a tour. So tell me where this, where are we, George? All right. All right. This is our living room. And then. Now, where are we? All right. This is the kitchen. And it has a bathroom that were half bathroom down here that is very easily accessible and then where are you leading us uh, the dining room George. and that is the dining room which is just off to the living room. All right, asset kids, take it away. Let's go to the second floor. Man, your feet are heavy, huh? All right. So, these are three bedrooms. This is one of the bedrooms. This could be Jaden's room. And the beauty with it is that's the hospital right there. The hospital. Mm hmm. That's the employer, the hospital. All right, George and Jaden.
bring us to the next bedroom. Oh, show us the closet. Uh huh. So it's a good sized closet when you turn it. Yes, it's automatically turns on by itself and it turns off by itself. Bye, George. Bye. Okay, show us. Yes. Okay. That is the closet. That is right. And the view of the hospital. All right. Now let's take us to the other. And whose bedroom is this? The smallest one. The little child's bedroom. That's right. George and Jaden, show us another one. Yes. Here is the full bathroom. So it has a tall linen closet, which is great. There's more storage up above. Recently renovated bathroom, tile floors, subway tile backsplash. And the toilet that Jaden was pointing. Yep. So George and Jaden, so now you've learned what an asset and what a liability is now, we right? Mm -hmm. So now tell your other kids too, how can they help their mom and dad, either at home or in business? Um, so First, you have to get one gazillion subscribers, and then, and then, and then, um, I don't know. And if your mom and dad has a business like this, you can help them, like, with the properties. That is correct. What so if how, they don't? So, how, Jaden, since you talked about properties, how can you help with the properties here? What have you been doing? We showed you a tour. That is correct. They showed us a tour. Thank you for the tour, Jaden. We certainly enjoyed it. So kids, how do you think you can help your mom and dad at home or in business? Bye, see you soon. Bye.